Hi everyone, in this video I will be showing you how to install and adjust your Yuma Air Regulator in your already awesome Edwin Leshy. Let's go! Okay, first up, open your gun, make sure it's not loaded always make sure your gun is safe to work on and no accidents can happen take a two millimeter hex wrench and locate your bleed screw just there crack it open ever so slightly and let the air bleed out of the air tube Now once all your air is out, it's as simple as unscrewing the air tube by hand. And here you see the original regulator. Just take your hand unscrew it make sure your spring and your valve stay in place and as you can see already the difference in design I'll turn it like this the Yuma air regulator is a lot smaller than the original Edgar regulator. This results into more space in your air tube so eventually you'll get a little bit more shots. Put the Edgar to the side. Now take some uh, loop, you can get this uh, on the Yuma Air website. Put a small dab on the o-rings now when you screw this into your gun you have to make sure that the end of the spring sits in the middle at the end of the regulator I don't know if you can see it good on camera but you have to make sure it's in the middle push on it to fight the spring a little bit I always turn first a little bit counterclockwise so I can find the starts of the thread so I make sure I'm not ruining the threads on the regulator body or your gun so now that's in place you can check that your valve is nicely in the middle so you know it's installed correctly Now adjusting the Yuma Air regulator is very simple. You have to turn this brass screw with the, the little mark they put on it at the pressure you want it to be. Now when you want to lower the pressure, it means turning the brass screw clockwise, you just put the mark to wherever your desired pressure is. Once you want to raise the pressure, it's a little bit different. For instance, you want to go to 110 bar, now it's at set at 100. You turn the mark to 120, it means 10 bar past your goal, and then go back 10 bar to where you want to be. Now, uh, Yuma likes to do this because the threads will bind a little bit, and then uh, they're sure the pressure won't move over time. So very easy, let's install it. 
Now the installation of your Yuma Air regulator is a little bit different than uh, the original one. As you can see, this is the plenum of the original one and this is the regulator body and both of them are screwed together like this. With the Yuma Air it's a little bit different. As you can see there are no threads on it but you have an o-ring here. The idea is you put this in your tube this way, high pressure behind it forces the regulator that way sealing nicely against the o-ring here and sitting like this in your air tube you probably wonder but how do I get it out now that's very easy at the back of the regulator you can screw in I believe it's an uh, M2 or M3 bolt and then when your regulator sits in your body you can thread it in and pull the regulator out. Now first up don't forget to put your uh, loop. This one I got from the Yuma Air website. Just a little bit to crease it up. Take your air tube put it in straight, guide it gently past the threads push it in like this you can feel a little bit of resistance this is through the air in your air tube Gently thread it in, make sure the threads are not binding. Don't worry, the threads are timed on the Edgun lashes, so your buttstock will always end up straight again. Just tight is good enough, the air will do the rest. Now before you fill her back up with air, don't forget to close your bleed screw. There is no need to go uh, superhuman power on this because uh, if you ruin the seat of the screw that goes inside it's a pain in the ass to uh, repair this. Take your fill source fill it up gently with air. Voila, that's it. Now you can check with some uh, soap water to see if you have still have any leaks, otherwise you can tighten it a little bit more. But that's it guys. That's how easy it is to install the Yuma Air regulator into your Edgun Leshy. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Uh, subscribe to my channel, follow me on Instagram for some extra content and I will see you in the next video. Bye.